and people saying they lost respect for him. I mean, I don't. I don't I don't I don't really get that. How do you lose respect to him because he it's it's a it's a business people. It's it's not street ball, it's not park ball, it's not rec league ball, it's a business. And is it you know, oh you know, things are not gonna be competitive, is it really it's when it's a business is it Kevin Durant's fault that the league is not going to be competitive now? That you just look and say, well, Warriors are going to win the West unless somehow the Spurs can beat them because they got the bigs. And the Cavs are going to win the East. Uh, that's automatic. So it's a, it's a business. It's a professional league where, you know, this, this is not... It's not Kevin Durant's obligation to keep the league competitive. It's the league. It's the seat. It's the cities. It's the organizations of the other cities to bring out the best, to scout the best, to to, to put the best talent that they can possibly put on the, on the court. Now I'm a Sixers fan, and we in four straight years we draft centers. I mean. In a guards league, we play. This is the NBA is a guards league, and I have a team that picked up four straight centers, four straight, four straight years. Three out of the four centers, when we got them, they were hurt. Does that make sense to anyone? You know, we got Ben Simmons, and then I just looked down today, and we picked up Gerald Henderson. Does that? We just got. We got another guy that can't shoot the ball. That that see, it's just stuff like that. Where if you have smarter front offices and things like that, the league will be competitive. If teams scout the right way, like the Warriors team scouted and how they picked up Curry, they picked up Thompson, they picked up Barnes, they picked up Draymond Green, and they built the team, it's it's different. You know, it's the same way how the Thunder built their team. They pick up uh, Durant. They pick up Westbrook. They pick up Harden, and they had they had their team. So it's not any. It's not LeBron James' fault. It's not Kevin Durant's fault that the league's gonna be less competitive because they get to do what they want to do, and there's this easy way of winning a championship when it's really, it's really not any easy way to win a championship. It's it's just it's really not just. It's just not. So I totally understand it. I'm I'm for it. I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't really from a Warriors standpoint, I don't know how you get any better than being one game away from a championship and then I don't know. Uh despite Harrison Barnes, he laid an egg in the finals. But you know, we got these we're gonna see these guys in their primes try to make it work. And I always say is my my last video when I discuss, you know, building super teams. It's okay. It, it seems like the narrative is it's okay to watch these players be 35, 37, 38 past their primes to go get to to now try to get a championship. But I always thought why not why wait so late? Why try not why not try to do that in your prime when you're at your best of your ability? You had Carl Malone in Peyton, they went to the Lakers in search of getting a championship. You know, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't get it done. You know, it, you always hear Shaq. Shaq left the Lakers to go play with a great young player where Shaq had a great season, but Wade is the one who scored 37, 38 points a game against the Mavericks to win the finals. Uh, team game, yes, but Wade was the killer in the finals. And what did Shaq do? 300 pounds, Shaq wants to he went to go play with Phoenix, a fast-paced team because they were the best team in the league. Then he goes to play with LeBron, he goes to play with the Celtics, the best teams in the league in order to win a championship. So, it don't it, it really don't matter. It really don't matter how you get your championship, people. At the end of the day, in 25, 30 years, you're going to be a champion. 
It, it just, it doesn't matter. People, the storylines are so hot now, but in 25, 30 years, no one's going to remember the storylines of what happened today. All they're going to look and see is that Kevin Durant, LeBron James, all these guys who came together are champions. It, it really doesn't make any difference.